What's up everybody, it is Mouse here and today we're doing something a little bit different for Shocktober. We're going to be ranking all 70 plus sword traps in a single video. I have the tier list on my phone here, so that's why I'm looking down. I don't have a script. If you think this is scripted, you are a bozo. Now we're using a, a pre-made tier list. I had to add some of my own Saw X traps in there because they didn't have the, the newest traps. Um, reading it now though, I'm seeing they've put like a little bit of flavor text on each rank. Jeff tier. Uh, that one makes sense, because Jeff kind of, I guess it rhymes with F. And also Jeff is just an awful character, so it works on both levels. Their A tier though, it put their whole wacky into it. I don't know what they mean by that. Now spoiler warning, I will be spoiling pretty much all of Saw, the Saw franchise. We're going to be going through every single trap from Saw 1 all the way to Saw X. We'll be showing a little bit of footage where I can. Some of them I'm just not going to be able to show at all because the YouTube will shut this down so fast. But without further ado, we have over 70 traps here. So we're gonna jump straight in, pray that my camera doesn't run out of battery or something. We'll see, baby, we'll see. All right, coming in first, such a weird one to open with, but this is Shotgun Keys. Uh, now, I didn't watch, re-watch all the, the movies and traps in preparation for this, so this is going to be an exercise in me remembering as well. But Shotgun Keys is from Jigsaw. It's one of the final-ish traps where uh, Tobin Bell, Jigsaw, puts a key into a shotgun, believe it or not. And there's like a key in, a, in the shell of the shotgun, and he hands him the shotgun, and he says, just shoot the other person. And then he says like, Here's your key to freedom. You know, just classic Jigsaw putting it all out all out there like that. This was a good one. This is like classic jigsaw trolling. You know, the key to your freedom is right here and they're like, oh, you must mean the you must mean the shell. And this is a good one. We're gonna be putting this one in, I guess B. I wanna play a game. I wanna leave some room both ends for the, for the really shitty ones and for the really good ones. But this is classic jigsaw, super simple. It's a shotgun, it's got a key in it, it's got a shell and when you shoot, the shotgun, the key obviously explodes, and then there's the other added twist where the, the shotgun also shoots backwards. So the, bad, the, the best option was peace. Just unload the shotgun, take the key out, you both get out. Of course that doesn't happen because it's a, it's a Saw movie. So we're gonna be putting shotgun keys into B. You have one shotgun? You have one shell? Ads, man. Stop seeing this ad. And now instead of having an ad, it just has a pop-up that says ad closed by Google. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, next trap up is the ceiling jars. This is from Saw 5. There's there's basically keys in, this, in a bunch of jars along the ceiling. They might have something else in it. Glass, maybe. But it, they just have to hit the keys down. They have to hit the hit the glass jars on, on the ceiling, the key drops down, the key opens up a cell, and they have to all get into their cells before the, the nail bomb goes off. One person doesn't make it, the weird bold guy who knew a little too much about everyone. This one's okay. Saw 5 is one of the worst Saw movies in my opinion. I'm gonna give this a D. This is a rusty saw. Whatever, whatever that means. Maybe it's just a bad taste from the movie, but we're, yeah, we're not good. That's no good. Skip that one. All right, the next one is from Spiral. Spiral had some great traps in it. Say what you want about the movie. It, it was like vintage saw stuff. So the finger trap has this police officer with his, each one of his fingers wrapped in some sort of net or mesh. Um, and basically he has to bite down on these metal bars and when he does the mesh pulls upwards and he just has to tear all of his fingers off. Naturally, like how most saw traps go these days, they always try it and get out and they get like halfway done and then the trap kills them anyway. Because they, I guess the director wants to show the trap working as well as the execution. Finger trap, really good. Better than ceiling jars, better than shotgun keys, I would say. We're gonna put that into B for now. That That's borderline A. Finger trap's really good. Super simple again. Bite down, fingers, take your fingers off. The the, the way he dies is the, there's water filling up in like a bath. He's in like a bath. 
and he has to just he just gets electrocuted <laughs> his, his death was I mean fairly fast as far as saw traps go all right next up is pig vat pig vat saw three great movie First three saws, incredible, I love them. Pig Vat has a judge at the bottom of a massive vat and basically they're, they're bringing in these dead pigs and dropping them into this massive grinder and it's just the guts are pouring into this vat and they're gonna drown him or make him vomit to death, I'm not sure. He, he doesn't really have a test. This is where old Jeff comes into play. Jeff has to free the judge. This judge basically let Jeff's son's murderer off free. So Jeff has to forgive him and get him out of the pig vat, which he does. He gets him out of the, the pig vat and then the judge just dies later on anyway. But the pig vat, I don't know about this one. It's a C, it's fine. A lot of the, the first three Saw movies, um, I think the traps are really good and somewhat nostalgic at this point. But yeah, just a big vat of pig guts leaves a little to be desired. The driver who killed my son. You gave him six months! Not the strongest trap in the early, early Saw movies. So yeah, let's, let's give that one a C. Next up is uh, from Saw 4. It is the Ice Block Trap. So this has Detective Matthews, a classic, up on an ice block, which is melting into a giant scale which if it gets too far down one end, all the water's gonna go and electrocute Hoffman, which at that point we thought was just the detective and we didn't know he was working with Jigsaw. It has two more giant ice cubes up above uh, Detective Matthews, which if the door is gets opened, um, the two ice blocks crush his head, which of course that happens. This is a great trap actually, now that I'm <laughs> explaining it to myself. I'm gonna put this one in. A. It's kind of a bullshit trap because the it was kind of rigged, which was not intentional to say that because the, the person being tested was called Rig. But yeah, this was just again super simple. Two ice blocks crushing a crushing your head. And man, if I could show it I would because it is a it is a brutal death. Poor Detective Matthews went through so much garbage just to get just to get killed by that. All right, next up, the sentry gun. This was from Saw 3D, the, the weakest of all Saw movies, just the absolute worst. Technically it's a trap, but it's not a real trap. Basically Hoffman is under pursuit by detectives and they, they get to a, a warehouse and they think he's in it. He's not in it, and then a sentry gun comes up and just guns all of them down, like Breaking Bad, like an automatic sentry turret. This one, this one's going into Hoffman, you freak. I, I, I get this, this title now. That was just murder at that point. I mean, they're all murder. Let's not pretend like Jigsaw's like, yeah, what is, what, what's his line? Um, Killing is distasteful. All right, next up, uh, another spiral trap. This is a really good one. This one I had everyone hyped. It was like the preview, how they show the preview traps. This is the subway trap, which involves a crooked cop having his tongue in between, I'm not gonna do that on camera. His tongue in between like metal bars. And I believe it is like bolted in there. It's not just like being squished. And he, he just has to let gravity do its thing. He just has to drop and let his, his tongue get yanked out. The train's on its way. So he has to do that before the train hits him. Naturally, he does it at last second as the train hits him. I don't know, he does, he tries to like just pull it out normally. Like, brother, just, just, just do it. Just pull that shit off like a band-aid. I don't know if that would have killed you anyway from blood loss or swallowing all the blood, um, but that's a great trap. That's going in to A. Next up, the lawnmower trap. What do they mean by that? I think that's another Saw 3D trap where it's not a real trap. It's like they have that little meeting of people who survive Saw traps. And one of the victims is like telling their story of, about their trap. And I think it's just a flashback of their trap. And they're like hanging on these 
chains above lawn mowers. And it's so funny, like they obviously you want the other person to fall. And she just slaps this guy and he just drops into the lawn mowers. Uh, that's pretty much the extent of the trap. I'm gonna put that one in C because it, it made me laugh. It's not really a real trap that you really spend much time with. I think it's like 20 seconds, if that. But you know what? The slap into the lawnmower. For, I don't know how she gets down from that thing. I don't know if Jigsaw came in and turned off with the lawnmowers or what the hell happened there, but it was funny. So we're gonna, we're gonna give that one C. Wow, the glass coffin. Again, saw five. Strom walks into a room. There's a big glass coffin and a, a tape and the tape says get in the glass coffin otherwise this room's gonna be your tomb. He says fuck you and um, he Hoffman comes in behind him, he pushes Hoffman into the glass glass coffin. Glass coffin closes, goes down and then the Star Wars like walls close in on, Ho uh, on Strom and for some reason he tries to stop it with his arm and the bone cracks out of his arm. I don't know why he would ever do that. Um, just not good, not good. This is going in Hoff, this is going in the high end of Hoffman, you freak, E. The, the wall closing in part was pretty cool, but the, the glass coffin didn't do anything. So yeah, that's going in Hoffman, you freak, because Hoffman was in it, and when the blood sprays down on him, he like smiles, so he's a freak. Reverse bear trap. Now, if you've never watched Saw, if you've never seen Saw, You'll probably even know what the reverse bear trap is. Iconic from this first Saw movie. And then it's also in 6 and 3D as well. You actually get to see it go off in 3D. This one's going in God tier, like straight up. Just perfect. Just, what, what else can you say? It's perfect. It's a perfect trap. It's, it's going into Hello Zep. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. Huh? Here's what happens huh? when you you're wearing is hooked into your huh? upper and lower jaws. When the timer in the back goes off, your mouth will be permanently ripped open. Think of it like a reverse bear trap. Here, I'll show huh? you. Huh? Magnum Eye Hole. That's it. That's a great name. That is Saw 2. I mean, it's right there. Give it to Jigsaw. He knows how to name his traps. Magnum eye hole. There's an eye hole and they get a key and it's like, hey, don't use this key on this door. And they say, this man. they use the key on the door while looking through the door hole. Magnum on the other side goes off, shoots him in the eyeball. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's, it's not like the best trap. Who looks through a key hole, like an eye hole while they're opening a door? Just open it, dude. But that's going in. Low B. Ah, uh, you know it can beat shotgun keys. It's going mid B between shotgun keys and finger trap. Ooh, this is a good one as well. This is the shotgun carousel. This is going in god tier. Not above the reverse bear trap, but it is just so. Saw Six is such a such a good movie. Shotgun carousel, believe it or not, has a, a carousel going around with a shotgun waiting there and they keep stopping one by one at the shotgun. The guy outside of the carousel trap has to push a button and that'll stop the shotgun once and then it'll go back down. He can do that twice. Doing so will puncture his hand, so I don't know. Jigsaw he didn't really need to do that part, but saves a few of them. I think he saves two women. He's really simping on this one. And then the poor last guy. What, what a performance on this guy. One thing and it's all over. I did it for this for you. When you're killing me, you look at me! Again, this is this is starting to get into the traps that are like just so unrealistic and so like over the top and completely out there. There's no way this would have ever worked, but it's just such like a iconic scene and like such a good trap. So we're gonna put that in Hello Zep God tier. Next up is the Oxygen Crusher. This is a Thor. Six. He puts the the main guy in, a, a, it like goes around your rib cage or your your torso, and every time you breathe in, um, it starts to crush. 
No, so the main guy's fine. Whatever, he's good. The problem is the other guy, this poor janitor who did absolutely nothing wrong. He just happened to be a smoker. So Jigsaw's just wiping out the smokers at this point. He cannot hold his breath as long though, so naturally he starts breathing in over and over and just his torso gets crushed. Kind of on, I'm gonna put this one in rusty, rusty saw. Like the janitor, what did he, he didn't even do anything wrong. He was, he was just there to teach the other guy a lesson about, who knows? Who knows? And what if the smoker won? The rest of the trap would have been completely void. Thanks, Jigsaw. I thought everyone deserved a chance, except for the janitor, and unless you're a smoker as well. If you're a smoker, you don't deserve a chance. You can die in hell. Here's a good one. This is the laser collars. This is from Jigsaw. This is the final trap in Jigsaw. I don't know how possible this one is. This is getting into some sci-fi shit, I think. Collars around around their neck with lasers pointed upwards, I believe. They have to tell the truth about their crimes or something. And if they, you don't, or if you piss off Jigsaw, the, the lasers go inwards and just split open your, your head like a flower, which happens to one of them, of course. And we're gonna, we're gonna throw that one in C, satisfactory. I don't know how many more twists we can have of there was a secret apprentice. That one really, I, I prefer, spiral over jigsaw which might not be uh, something people want to hear hey <laughs> next up the pain train we're getting all the saw 3d ones out of the way here which is probably a good thing because that movie whew. um the pain train isn't even a real trap for one it is a dream sequence from jill tuck jigsaw's wife um she has a dream of hoffman setting up this this elaborate little little doohickey, this little train with a massive saw on the front that comes racing towards her. The best, the best part about this trap, and the reason I'm not going to put it in Jeff tier, um, is Hoffman. She dreamed that Hoffman says like this sick ass one line. Now the worst thing about killing you, Jill, I can only do it once. Train comes towards the screen because it's in 3D. It's just so bad. It's going in Hoffman, you freak. Cause it's just, it's not good. Next up, another banger. That's that's actually a, a horrendous lie. Uh, this one's from Saw 4. This is the spike trap. It features a husband and wife. They're hanging on like a pole or something. The wife has all these spikes going through her in non-vital organs. And then on the other side, her husband's back to back with her and the spikes are going through all his vital organs. He's, a, he's like an abusive piece of garbage and she, her game is that he has, she has to let him die. Like she just lets him get away with being abusive to their child and to her. She just kind of has a bit of bad luck in that one. She, I believe she survives. She, she does pull out all the things and kill him. So she gets out, a pretty creative trap. Let's see here, is it better than laser collars? Yeah, yeah. We're putting spike trap in the top of C, above pig vat. You guys feeling sick yet? Cause we haven't even barely started, baby. Suspended cage. What in the hell do they mean by this? Suspended cage is from Saw 3D. Yeah, I didn't even realize this was a trap right until right this second. Believe it or not, he's in a, a suspended cage above spikes and the bottom falls out. When watching it, it looks like he could just drop down very easily and like avoid the spikes, which are very far apart from each other. But I think he just swings and then leaps away. This, this one's weak. This one's weak. This is going into rusty saw. Yeah, we're, we're, that's there. Next up, water cube. This, I know this, this is going in A. This is going high A, mainly because of the way it's shot. It is so sick looking. Like the way the, the, the frame opens where it's all black, except for the cube that is like lit up. And it like does the whole zoom into him waking up. I remember seeing that, I think it was in a trailer back in the day. I, I saw every one of these movies in the cinema except for the first one because I was 14 at the time, so I couldn't. Um, Strom's head is in a glass cube. Water 
starts pumping into the cube. He's not really given any instructions. Uh, just in this world when people want to kill other people, they have to frame it like it's a jigsaw trap instead of just shooting him in the back of the head or something. And Elstrom has to do a tracheostomy a and he puts a pen in his throat so he can breathe. First thing I thought was just drink the water because there's like two jugs and you see the water run out. But then I think he still might have drowned. Uh, I don't think he could drink that much water <laughs> physically without drowning. Um, maybe he could have done like the little, put his hand up his into the neck hole and get rid of the water that way. But he gets out of it. I'm putting it in A because I, I don't know, I like it. It's my tier list. What are you going to do about it? All right, we got one from Saw 5. This is 10 pints of sacrifice. They need 10 pints of blood to be donated into a jar for the uh, for the door to open before the, I see that's the problem with Saw 5. Every single room just has like nail bombs going off. Not not that original Hoffman, but of course the whole point is there's supposed to be five of them there, so 10 pints of blood between five people, not that bad. But there's only two of them, so five pints each. Considerably worse. And there's like a, a hole with a, a saw, like a table saw in there that they put their hand through and it like cuts their hand in half. Can you not pee into the hole? Maybe you didn't need to pee, but come on dude, like pull it together. Um, but yeah, they both do it. They both open the door. One of them, I cannot show it <laughs> on a YouTube video, but he does cut his arm all the way down. And they, they get out of it. Um, Kind of a classic. I'm gonna put it in C. Wow. Me, dude. We got the public execution from Saw 3D. <laughs> this one, this one's out of garbage. This might be the first Jeff tier. It, like, in theory, a public trap. Super cool. The way it was done in Saw 3D, like most of Saw 3D, just, just bumble with it. And the the reason they're in it is even worse. It's these two young men on each end of a, a seesaw system with literal saws at each end and they they got to push the saw to the other guy uh, and then there's a saw in the middle upwards with a, a girl hanging down and basically she's cheating on both of them and she's been making them both do like illegal things and they either they both forgive each other and they say let the girl die who's being lowered down onto the middle saw or they have to fight for her and push the saw away from her and kill the other one. But come on, Jigsaw, what are you doing, dude? What is this? What are you... She's... She's cheating on you guys. And she's making you do stupid things. You guys are... She's toxic. And then one of them says, I think we're breaking up with you, Tina, whatever her name is. Bad. Jeff here. Next up we have the shotgun chair. Do you mind? is from Saw 6, Saw 5. The shotgun chair is Hoffman's first test. Jigsaw finds out that he was mimicking Jigsaw's killing style because he wanted to kill someone. So instead of killing him like a normal person, he set up this elaborate Jigsaw trap to make it seem like Jigsaw did it. Jigsaw is just like, lol, check this out. And he pulls the trigger and the gun doesn't go off because the shotgun shell was in the other chamber. It's not really a very good trap. It, it's going in Hoffman, you freak. Because it also has the part where Jigsaw says, Killing is distasteful. Oh, we go. We got a good one now. This is the classroom trap. This is a trap I had downloaded before Saw 3 came out. They always showed a like a one trap from the upcoming Saw movie and I don't know, YouTube wasn't really that big back then, so I just had a downloaded video and I'd like to show my friends <laughs> the classroom trap. Man, probably got put on some lists at that point. But yeah, classroom trap has Troy. I remember his name. And he's the guy with all the chains pierced through all of his skin and then one through his jaw, which is impossible to get out. Again, going with the nail bomb technique. Hoffman and Amanda kind of had their nail bomb phase at this point. He has to pull out all the chains, otherwise the nail bomb goes off and ends his existence. Uh, he pulls out all of the chains, except for the one in his jaw, which is impossible to pull out. He should have started there and realized, hey, this one's probably not coming out, so I'm just gonna wait for the bomb to go off. I would have probably just waited for the bomb to go off, sweet release. But still, even though it's impossible, it's one of Amanda's impossible traps. 
Uh, it's still super cool. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put it in B. All he had to do was release himself from each of the chains. Walk out the door before it went off. All he had to do? We have the furnace from Saw 2 for Obi. He says his name's Obi and then the tape says Obi, so uh, Obi sounds more like a real name than Obi, so we're gonna go with Obi. There's two antidotes in the furnace. One of them is for free. The other one closes the furnace, sets it alight. In the tape, it's like, Once you are in hell, only the devil can help you out. And then in the furnace, there's like a little devil with a little twisty thing that would turn the fire off. I don't know why he didn't go for that. He saw it and then just continued to burn alive. I mean, he would have had to put his hand in the fire, but tell you what, putting your hand in the fire is a lot better than having your whole body in the fire. But still, we don't deal with a lot of fire traps, I feel like, so I'm gonna put it at the high end of C. But yeah, Furnace, great, great trap. Great trap, just go for the devil's finger, dude. Just go turn the devil's finger. We're in a Saw 2 spree. We got the needle pit. This one's going up. This one's going in A. The needle pit, so good. It is a pit of needles. And there's a there's a key in there. And Jigsaw says something like, It will be like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> the, guy, the guy who the trap is for is like, No, I'm not doing that. And throws Amanda in there. And it is just this ruthless, brutal scene of her just scraping through the needles. And like the behind the scene of how they made that trap, with all the how many needles they had to de-needle to put into that track. It's super, super cool. If you haven't seen it, um, I'd highly recommend that. But that's going in A. How do people do these front of camera things? I, like, I'm gonna have to save this shit in editing because it's just, this is me sitting here <laughs> talking about saw traps. Next up, from Saw 4, is the bedroom trap. Hotel manager man, big cartoon looking character. <laughs> He's like a disgusting woman abuser bound down and uh, he's got two little buttons and the buttons come down and like shove something into his eye. Um, and he has to do that twice for both eyes and then he gets out scot-free. This is a, this is a brutal trap. This is like, there's no chance I can show you any of this. Also, he pushes one button and the, the thing goes into his eye and then he doesn't push the other one and then he gets torn apart. What are you doing doing one? Like, just do both at the same time. He's an idiot. He's a big fat idiot and he dies and he sticks one of them, gets one of his eyes impaled as well. So yeah, that's going in C. That's not, not one of my favorites, that one. That one's kind of, that one's a sick freak. Oh boy. We got another Saw 3D trap coming in. This is the silent circle. There's a, a fish hook down this lady's throat into her stomach. I forgot his name, but he has to pull it out. Um, but every time she makes sound, these like metal pipes start coming towards her throat. Not the easiest trap to watch. And I don't think I can show any of it on into in this video without it being deleted from YouTube forever and then having a hitman come up and put me in a saw trap. And then at the end when she dies, because she can't stop screaming, the guy's like, why don't you just shut up? And it's like, dude, what the hell? Like, anyway, that's going in the high end of D, Rusty Saw, for being gross and being in Saw 3D. That's, that's two, two offenses in my book. Now this one I don't really understand. This is the Fatal Five. I don't really understand because it has all their traps separately in this tier list and then it just says Fatal Five. So that's going in Jeff tier because <laughs> I don't understand what they want from me in this situation. Um, next up is the Glass Grinder from Spiral. This uh, consists of a man being hung up in the middle of a room and there's like glass bottles falling into the grinder. So it's shooting, it's shooting out broken glass and uh, Chris Rock has to get him down <laughs> and he doesn't get him down in time so he dies like I like the traps in spiral but as far as spiral traps go this one's kind of weak simple I think it goes above bedroom trap it's just like meh like I don't really it just doesn't doesn't do anything for me it's just like a it's just a whatever trap if there was a whatever tier it would go in there 
We have the electric bathtub. There's a bathtub in the middle full of water and they have to hold an electric cable and then touch the water and get sh shocked enough so the door opens. And much like the pints of blood, if there were five of them, they could all do it and take a little shock. But at that point, there's only three of them. So they murder this poor lady from Cousin Skeeter, throw her in the bathtub and just shovel the, shovel the cables on her. And she just, I don't think it deserves to go into B, but let's, let's put it like mid C. And when I say, let's put it mid C, I'm telling myself in the future when I'm editing it, <laughs> where to put it. Exploding Billy. This has Agent Strom and Agent Perez um, hot on the trail of Jigsaw and they find Billy the puppet. <laughs> you wanna play a little game? <laughs> He's like, hello Agent Perez, your next move is vital. And then his head starts ticking, which would have sent me in the opposite direction. But apparently Perez is like, Hey, what's that, what's that sound, dude? And then Billy's face explodes into shrapnel. So it's just, I don't know what, I'm gonna put this in rusty saw, D tier. Like, what the hell, what a jigsaw. You're, you're testing people that don't appreciate their life and these detectives are doing their job and you're like, hey, take one of these, call me in the morning. Next up, leg wires. This is the one where his leg falls through the plank of wood and has then wires wrap around it and he has to pull a like a lever or something and then the wires will get rid of his leg. I think the test was there was a big door that said exit and he's like all right I'm out of here and then he fell through the the floor. <laughs> We're just gonna throw that in the bottom of C. We have a lot of C. There's a lot of traps that are like eh what are you gonna do about it? This one pisses me off. <laughs> I hate this one. This one's this one's whacked up, everybody. Not because it's disgusting, but it's because it kills Detective Singh. One of my favorite characters in Saw franchise. Detective Singh was in the first movie and he's, he's so close to leaving the precinct and going and getting a beer and then taps like, hey, come check out this tape. And then they get, he gets caught up in it all. And then he shoots Jigsaw in the back with a shotgun. And he's like, I, I got him. And then he walks through some cobwebs and there's just like, Five shotguns pointing down from the roof that just go through through his head. This one, Jeff tier, not because it's a bad trap, because whack you jigsaw for killing Detective Singh. This is the necktie trap. For the This is the first one in the Fatal Five. They all have collars around their neck and they have to go up, get a key, come back and undo their collar. And they have to go one at a time to get each, go out and get each key. If they don't, they get pulled they, all the collars get pulled back and they get decapitated on a, a giant V guillotine, basically. We'll put this in the low B tier. This is probably one of the better ones from Saw 5. And then, of course, again, the twist is all five keys are exactly the same. So uh, they could have just wanted, one of them could have got the key, done it, and handed the key to the next person. In theory, would have worked, but when you watch the trap in motion and that one bold guy takes. 45 seconds out of the minute they have to undo his collar so they can all get him off at the same time. This is the Wisdom Tooth Trap, Saw 3D. Super simple. I'm surprised they haven't done anything with teeth yet, considering the poster of Saw 3 was the three teeth hanging there. But yeah, there's a code on the, his two back wisdom teeth, and he has to just pull them out and put the code into the door. Let's put it in. See. <laughs> this is the rack from Saw 3, the final trap that happens to old Timothy Young. This one is just probably the most brutal, awful trap in the in the entire franchise, but in the best way possible. The rack is just it's like a a giant cross with your your man up here on like on the, like a big Jesus cross, and one at a time. Each one of his limbs is is spun around, all the way around, and it, that comes with exactly what you'd expect it to come with. This is going in God tier because it is just, the way it's designed, how hard it is to watch, how brutal it is. 
I, I really like it. Saw 3 is like the perfect ending to the Saw franchise, which of course it didn't end that way, but hard one to watch. <laughs> this is the electrified staircase. They find out where Jigsaw is in Saw 2 and the SWAT team comes into his warehouse and there's like a staircase leading up and they start walking up it and then Billy comes out and just starts laughing at them and then the stairs give way and like a saw comes out and like punctures their legs. Like what the hell did the SWAT team do? They were just... <laughs> what the hell was that? And then the, they fall back and then the cage is electrified as well so I don't know, maybe Jigsaw's just having a bit of a laugh with that one but uh, that one's going in Hoffman you freak because I could see Hoffman doing something like that like no rhyme or reason just you know whack you for coming up the stairs. Alright this one is the acid room. It has um, hydrofluoric acid in a, a big tube. The guy gets to the end of his all of his games and he walks in and realizes that it wasn't his game, it was actually this this mother and child's game and they have to forgive him because he didn't give the their father health insurance because he didn't deem it necessary or he didn't, he thought he was a lost cause anyway so they have to forgive him but they naturally they do not, well the mum forgives him but the son's like Fuck you mother you killed my dad and then he pulls the thing and then all these needles go into this guy's back and start pumping him full of hydrofluoric acid I think that's what it is, and then he just melts. He just absolutely melts. It's a, it's a, it's a really good trap, actually. I think I'll put that one in A. Uh, let's put it in high and B. It's just brutal. Like, you, you get a, like a drop of that stuff on your skin, it whacks you up, and this guy gets, <laughs> he gets pumped full of it. What a movie franchise. Hey guys, quick uh, editing mouse here. I've just realized uh, I've forgotten a trap. It was in the tier list, so I dragged it up there at some point, but I, I never talked about it. So this is the horsepower trap from Saw 3D, the most over the top, gory, ridiculous trap in the whole franchise, I think. Um, featuring our boy Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Rest in peace. So this trap has four people in it. It has uh, Chester Bennington in the driver's seat of a car. It has his I believe it's his girlfriend underneath the car, uh, so the car's in the air a little bit. Has uh, another friend behind the car who has his limbs and his jaw chained to the car. And then it has the fourth friend on the garage door. Now Chester just has to pull this lever, like tear off his back and his arms from the glue to the seat. Just pull the lever to stop the car. It drops onto his girlfriend's face, destroys her, zooms forward, pulls the guy's arms and jaw off, and then goes sh runs straight through the guy on the garage door. It is just so ridiculous and over the top and gory. It's hilarious. I don't remember where I put it in the tier list, but I'll, I'll show it up on the screen right now. Um, so yeah, we couldn't, I didn't want to forget that one. I'm like editing it. I'm like, what the hell, where the hell is the horsepower trap footage? But yeah, uh, I'm going back to editing, but I um, didn't forget that one. Next up from Saw 1 is the drill chair. They catch Jigsaw and he's like, what's more important, catching me or saving this guy in the drill chair? And each one of them is like, just shoot Jigsaw at that point, right in the face with your shotgun and then save the guy. Like, I know there's repercussions to that, but imagine how many people he would have saved if they just killed Jigsaw right there. The drill chair, there's like keys that Singh has to go through. There's like this massive key chain with like 40 keys on it and Jigsaw's like, you just use one of the keys to set him free. Uh, like, he's laughing or something at him. Um, but they end up just shooting the drills and that stops it and he survives. I'm guessing he survives. Just uninspired though. I'm, I'm putting that one in the D tier. It's just... Let's put it high end D tier. It's just not that interesting and nothing really happens. I think I've put a, a saw reference in like every second video that I've ever done on this channel. So the fact that we're finally covering Saw in in some way, I, I should co I should play the games, but they're not on PC, or if they are, they're extremely hard to get. So uh, maybe I'll find them and we'll, we'll play through the Saw games because apparently they're terrible. Next up, shotgun collar from Saw Three. Why is my thing blinking? Is that good or is that bad? Might be bad. We might be running it. No, we're fine. The.
Shotgun collar from Saw 3. I'm a big fan of this one. This one's going. This one's going into B. I don't know if I finished explaining it, but basically it's a collar with shotgun shells linked to Jigsaw's heart rate. And if Jigsaw dies, the shotgun collar also goes off and then the, the doctor, Lynn, dies. She saves his life multiple times and then Jeff, the, the idiot, the f tier Jeff, comes in and kills Jigsaw in Saw 3. And then the, the shotgun collar goes off and kills Lynn. I don't know why she wasn't like, hey Jeff, don't kill him, man. Get this thing off before you do that, you clown. But still, great trap. Super simple shotgun collar. That's going in B. I want to play a game. We're getting into some good stuff now. Next up we have the angel trap. The only problem I have with this one is that it happens to Detective Carrie. She's like, she's like one of the best detectives in, in the franchise in my opinion. And then the reason that she's in the trap is because she spends too much time at work and she identifies more with a dead body than a, a human and that she doesn't have a family. Like, these all sound like dubs to me, uh, like, but we learn that it is a Manda trap, so it is inescapable as well. Um, so, usually I would put that suit, like the angel trap overall, visually, just super, almost beautiful with the way it plays out, but it's impossible to beat, it's an Amanda trap, I don't think Carrie should be in it. So we'll put it in high B. So that's how good it is, even with all those downsides, it's still got put in B. You know, you know what? We're putting it in A. I should explain what the trap is for the people who, or the normal people who don't like Saw and just are uh, here <laughs> to learn about all these traps. Carrie is up on a something and she has all these metal things into her rib cage. She has to put her hand into the acid, get the key out to undo the thing. She does it, undoes it, and then the, it doesn't come out of her rib cage and then it like spreads open like uh, angel wings, pulling her rib cage apart and killing her, I'm guessing, instantly. There you go, just a little sword. <laughs> Uh, this is, this is going, this one's going all the way up, baby. This is the bathroom trap from Saw 1. Just the thing, the thing that started it all. The, the reason this franchise exists is the bathroom trap. How do we, with no budget, how do we make a movie? Well, we just have two people locked into a, locked in the bathroom. Then it's really, really easy to shoot, really cheap. Yeah, but why are they locked in the bathroom? And then that's how they created Saw. The first Saw movie, I think is incredible. I think it's the best, one of the best ones. Um, I think it's easy to watch standalone and just enjoy if you've never seen it before. Just two guys locked in a bathroom. That's that's all there is to it with a dead body in the middle. Perfect. Say less. The, the atmosphere in the first Saw movie, like when I was getting footage for some of these traps, uh, I started watching Saw 1 again and I just couldn't stop because like the, the music from Charlie Clouser, sheesh man, it's just, it's just so good. So yeah, that's going in God tier. Hello Zep. Cyanide box. <laughs> I think it's just literally swap members go into a room, the door closes and Hoffman's like, lol, I told you not to go in there. And then the cyanide drop into the water and it just gasses the room. This is pathetic. This is awful. Jeff tier. And continuing with the Saw 3D tradition here, we have the Impalement Wheel. Another god-awful trap that suffers from the movie being in 3D, so they wanted a 3D trap that comes towards the screen. And basically, a lady is laying down on uh, vertically. The main guy that, I just cannot remember this guy's name. It is so long since I've watched Saw 3D for good reason. But he has to pull up this thing which causes um, like these spikes to go into his, the side of his stomach. So he has to hold it up like a, like a leg press thing to save her. And if he doesn't, these three metal pipes like this go into her eyeballs. And I'm not sure what the third one's for. Like that goes into her mouth, but it doesn't really do anything. I don't know what that one's for, because there's plenty of room in the mouth for the the metal pipe to go into. But as you'd imagine, the ones in the eyeballs kind of suck for her. He's given 60 seconds. He should have waited for her to get really close 
and then done it and just waited for the last remaining 10 seconds or so. But instead he starts immediately, he gets stabbed and he can't, he can't hold it and then he fails and he tries again and fails and then she gets impaled. Um, pretty weak, pretty weak saw trap. I'm putting that one in the bottom of D. Hoffman, what's the third one for? Was that like for your watching pleasure? Cause that one's kind of, I don't like that one. I don't like that trap. Next up is grain silo from Jigsaw. It's a grain silo that they get trapped in and then the grain starts pouring in and it pours up to like their neck and then like just the random sharp tools start dropping into the silo as well. It doesn't kill them, but it could have quite easily accidentally killed one of them. I'm probably gonna put this one at the bottom of D as well. Just like if one of the pitchforks landed in the, one of their head, like that would have meant that their future trap that they had to go in would be mute and they couldn't do anything about it anymore. They would have gotten to it and be like, oh, he died in the grain silo because a pitchfork fell into his face. So. I guess we just have to skip, or I guess we have to go into this trap, so bad. There's a lot of stuff like that in Jigsaw that is just no good. Next up, Flammable Jelly from Saw 1. This is a bullshit trap. This trap is is utter bullshit. Probably one of the hardest traps in the, in the first movie. This guy is covered in flammable jelly. There's gla shattered glass all over the floor and the code to the safe which will get him the antidote to the poison that's killing him. The, the safe code is all around the walls. There's like hundreds of numbers up on the wall. Thousands of numbers all over the wall that he has to put input into this safe. I didn't know safe could take that many numbers. Without the flammable jelly, without the glass on the floor, I, I still don't think he could have done it. So this is going into Hoffman, you freak, because I think it's impossible. I think it's just a bullshit trap that this poor guy, the reason he was in it is he's, he's like skipping work. He's pretending to be sick from work. <laughs> Jigsaw is getting a little desperate on that one. All right, this is, um, this is the pendulum trap from Saw 5. This is the best thing about Saw 5. This is um, man, Chained to a table, a gigantic pendulum swinging that slowly lowers to his stomach, cutting him in half, which naturally it happens. Just a super cool trap, super interesting, disgusting, gory. We're gonna put this high B tier, almost A tier, I think. Nah, you know what? We don't have many A tiers. Well, let's put pe pendulum trap in there. Um, the way he gets out of it, he has to put his hands into these things on each side, crush his bones to dust, it says. He does both of them, but I'm not sure if he, like, wimps out and takes his hand out, or, it, like, it's a Hoffman murder trap that he couldn't have won no matter what, so... Maybe he just, he did it and he didn't get out, but I, I just like the pendulum, alright? And it's gone, it's gone in A. We have the gallows. This features grandma in this pitch dark room up on a ledge, and it also has a young guy also up on the ledge. A health insurance man has two handles that he's holding onto, and he just has to let one go of the person that he wants to hang. And now the whole shtick is, grandma, even though she's old and doesn't have much life left, you know, for his health insurance policy, she would be let go and to kill. Um, but she has family. She has a happy family that would miss her when she dies. But the, the young guy, a complete loner, but he's healthy and young. So his, his health insurance would probably pay him out. He has to choose between them. He lets, he lets the young guy die um, and grandma survives. But then she's kind of just left up on that perch with a, with a razor wire around her neck. So, I think we see her in Saw 3D in the meeting, like the survivors meeting. So I'm not, sh she got down from there somehow. Good on her. Not the strongest trap, but I still, still pretty good. I'm gonna put that one in C. Uh, next up is the spine cutters from Saw 4. These are the one, you don't, these, you don't see these go off. I didn't even know it cut spines until I read it here. I just thought it was like a little weird trap. So that's going into Hoffman, you freak. No, that's going into Jeff tier, because that's like, it's not as bad as the cyanide box. 
This is another one of those disgusting ones, which I, I apologize for right now if you're not into this stuff. Uh, this is a pound of flesh. Straight away from the title, you're probably thinking, what the hell have I stumbled into here? This is the opening of Saw 6, I believe. Um, it has two people, uh, an overweight man on one side and a young woman on the other side. Whoever puts more stuff on their scale through this cage wins. So they're given all these tools and they have to... The fat guy starts cutting off all his belly fat, which is just horrendous to watch. Uh, and then the lady is just like, you know what? I can win this real easy. And she just hacks off her own arm with a hacksaw and drops that bad boy in there and she wins. And then the, their crown things drill into the, the loser's head. It is, a br it is a brutal way to open a movie. That being said, it's still pretty, it's, it's disgusting. I might put that in like the low B tier. It's just a, it's one of those ones that are like super effective. It's just disgusting. It's really, it's not an easy one to watch. Let's just say that one. All right, next up, Mausoleum Trap. This is a really good one. There's a, a, a device in the middle of the room and then chains coming to the collars. I'm get, I think it's around their neck of these two men. Now one of the men, Abe's Odyssey style, has his uh, eyeballs sewn shut, and then the other man has his mouth sewn shut. So one can't see, one can't talk. They both wake up and the one who can't see is like freaking out, thinking that the guy whose muffled, muffled screams he hears is the person that put him in the trap. But they start fighting. Naturally, the, the guy with the mouth sewn shut wins because vision is... <laughs> a lot more important in fighting than being able to talk and then at the end he he just i don't know he, the adrenaline in his system makes him open his mouth and pull all the stitches out i don't I, th I think it's a really cool cool trap let's put that mid b mausoleum trap in i want to play a game tier can't wait to eat some pasta on it. um this is the scalping chair from saw 4 um, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's self-explanatory, this one. It's like, it's got like a ponytail in gears and it's just like pulling it backwards. She can't really do anything to get out. It's up to Rig, the guy in, who's the main character for, he has to find all the numbers and unlock her. He has a gun though. He could have already shot her ponytail off. This one is not pleasant to watch in not a good way, like the like the rack or any of the others. So I might put that in the rusty saw. Let's put that high rusty saw D tier. No good, we'll move on to the next one. All right, next up, nerve gas house from saw two. Uh, I guess they just mean the whole house or specifically the nerve gas that they're breathing in. They have two hours to find an antidote to, and get out of the house before the nerve gas kills them. Saw 2, I love Saw 2, so we're gonna put this one high up. Uh, let's put this in like, we'll put this one in low A, just cause I like Saw 2 a lot, and I think just the whole premise of like, this group of people in a house having to solve this is like, is set up the whole franchise. Every, basically every single movie from there on out had a, like a group of people or one person having to go through this like, um, this maze of traps and stuff, so yeah, that's, that's going high up in the, where did I put it? A. This is a freezer room, and this is from Saw 3. This features a, uh, a scene that I can definitely not show for many reasons on, in this video. It uh, has a um, naked woman in the middle of a freezer room, and at intervals, freezing cold water is shot onto her. He he go he gets the key and then he turns around and she's frozen solid in in record time. Let's sell a cool trap though. We'll put this high C above the furnace. Let's put the fire and ice together there. This is from Saw 6, Steam Maze. This has a lady in a maze of steam. I don't, I don't know what else to really tell you there. That's um that's it. The man on top has to pull the lever and steam blows in his face, but it stops the steam in her section of the in the of the maze so she can get through, and then that's pretty much it. And then at the end, the key to her collar 
is in his stomach or something, so she has to kill him. Just a little, just... Man, going through all the sword traps in order here, like, it's all 70 of them, it just really... really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Just, uh, it's not very good. We're just gonna put that one that Hoffman, you freak. Oh uh, no, we'll put it in low D. You guys love waterboarding? I really can't say, but yes. Um, so the hot wax trap is like waterboarding, except instead of water, it's probably the hardest trap to watch in Saw uh, Spiral. It's hot waxes <laughs> blasting her in the face while she's laying there. It, it's brutal, I'll give you that. So I guess we'll just put it in C. I dragged it somewhere, I don't know where it was. Oh, it's still down there, okay. We're gonna put that one in C, low C. The final stretch of saw traps. You guys, hope you guys are having fun. Hope you had a nice, hopefully you're eating this with dinner. <laughs> Not eating. The next one is the bucket room from Jigsaw. This is the initial trap that is very similar to the Saw 5 trap with the collar necks. Except this one, they all have buckets on their head and they're getting pulled towards a wall of razors going, razor sword blades going. And the way they, the way to beat this trap is they just have to like touch the saw blade a little bit and like lose a little bit of blood and that's enough to open it. So it's like, that's pretty, that's pretty easy compared to some of these traps. One poor guy doesn't even wake up, so he just gets dragged into the um, the saw, the jig, the saws, and jigsaw's like, oh shit, and then he he saves him. He's like, he doesn't deserve that apparently. So we'll put it like low B. I want to play a game tier. I, I have a lot of problems with jigsaw. Like, why does Billy's eyes, why are they glowing if it's like set in the past, and why do they have widescreen TVs if it's set in the past? That was like real poor quality, like bait and switch that. Not a fan of, not a fan of. Anyway. This is another favorite. This is another one that's going very high. This is the Venus flytrap from Saw 2, the opening of Saw 2. Michael, I believe his name is Michael. He's got like a Venus flytrap. It's called the Death Mask, but um, Jigsaw says it's kind of like a Venus flytrap. It's like an Iron Maiden, except it's just for your face. Clothes with all spikes on the inside if he doesn't get the key. The key is behind his eyeball, so he has to cut it out. This was this this was back in Saw 2 days where they didn't have him like cut the whole thing out and then get the key and then it closes anyway like they do now. So he, he, he just doesn't do it. He's like, you know what? I'm not cutting my eye open to do this, so that's good. Um, that's going up in God tier, I think. I really like the Venus flytrap. It's probably just as iconic, almost as the reverse bear trap, I think. A lot more interesting to watch, and I'm just, I'm just a big fan of the, the opening of Saw 2, so yeah, that's going up in, in God tier. All right, next up is the razor wire maze, which is exactly what you expect it to be. He's stuck in a little room with razor wire everywhere and he just has to get through it all and get out of the room and he, he's free. He like tries to kill him, he cuts himself to to end himself and now Jigsaw's like, if you want to, if you want to die, you just have to sit there. But if you want to survive, you have to cut yourself over and over. This is, gonna, this is better than the um, flammable jelly because it, it's actually possible. <laughs> We're gonna put this in low B, I think. You could set up at home for um, someone who you want to teach a lesson. So I believe this one is from Saw 2. It is the antidote safe room. I think this is just the, the actual safe in the room where they have to get the combination to open it and get an antidote out. Super, super cool. The tape says, The numbers are in the back of your mind. The clue to their order can be found over the rainbow. So everyone has numbers on the back of their neck that none of them saw until the end of the movie. And they're all written in different colors, so you just put them in the rainbow order, which... I want to be real with you, I, I probably knew that once, but at that point I would have died to the poison because I wouldn't have known which uh, order to put the, the keys in. Let's put it like high-end B tier. I want to play a game. Like, it, it can't beat out the whole nerve gas house but it's it's still pretty it's 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 good i can't believe we're almost done this is the marionette trap from spiral 
This has Samuel L. Jackson propped up like a marionette. I'm trying to remember the rules here. Like, I think Chris Rock just has to shoot. He's got one bullet and he can either shoot the bad guy or he can shoot the target, which will save his dad's life, who is Samuel L. Jackson. And he, he does that, but then the like the marionette props, the, props him up and the lights turn off. The marionette pull, pulls his arm up like this so it looks like he has a gun. And then those SWAT people come in and they're like, He's got a gun and they all just shoot him down. Kind of a weird one. Not, I'm gonna put this in C cause it's, it's not, it's just kind of, kind of weird. I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. This is the Razor box from Saw 2. Super simple glass box in the, in the sky with a, in the sky, in the air with an antidote in the middle. I forgot her name, but she walks in, she sees the antidote, puts her ha hands up into the box. Uh, there's white razors in the box that like go up like this when you put your hands in so naturally her her arms get stuck well one arm gets stuck and the antidote like falls over or she pulls off the top of it and she's like oh fwah. and she puts her other hand up in the box and then, then she's just she's stuck in a box with, with razors against her, her wrists um, the good news is at that point it was like an hour 50 into a two hour poison so like 10 minutes or so she'll probably just die of the poison so we're not sure who that trap was for. It's a, it's a pretty iconic one, so we're gonna put that one in B. I think that's a B tier trap. We'll never, then there's a key. You can see a key to the box as well, just in frame. So there's some, some interesting trivia for you. I'm losing my voice. This, this video is a sore trap for me. We have ourselves another F tier, spoiler warning. This is the Brazen Bull. Now this, uh, this one's utter shit. So basically the, the premise of Saw 3D is this guy was pretending that he survived a Saw trap so he could write a book and get the fame and the, the money and publicity that you would come with surviving a Saw trap and being able to talk about it. Jigsaw was not a fan of that. Puts him into a series of tests. His wife, who had no idea that he was lying about the whole thing, she was just being fooled from him she gets put, put put into this brutal brazen ball, which she she gets put in one of the most horrific traps in the whole franchise because her husband is a, a dipshit and she dies. <laughs> she, she, she gets burned alive in this ball for no reason at all. This has got to be a Hoffman. I would put this in Hoffman, you freak, but it's not, it doesn't even deserve to go that high. So that one is going in F. It would have been a cool trap if it was done to like a, probably like a more deserving person, but it's just no good. This is, I, I believe this is Jigsaw's first ever trap chronologically. This is the knife chair. It uh, involves Jigsaw putting Cecil into a chair with knives over his face and he just has to push through the knives and press the button and that I think it's supposed to free him, but the chair breaks. And I think that's like a flaw in Jigsaw's design. Hey, it's his first trap, all right? Give him a chance. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. And then he goes for Jigsaw and he falls into a razor wire box. So right then and there, Jigsaw should have been like, maybe this shit doesn't work. So yeah, this is going like low D tier. Not a very good trap. The chair breaks. He was not rehabilitated at all. And uh... It's not, just not a good trap. This time, the final Saw 3D trap, I hope. This is the Hangman's Noose. Probably like the easiest to watch out of all of Saw 3D. This features like a, a Home Alone style floorboard with like just random pieces of wood going across. Otherwise you fall to your death. This man is got a hangman noose around his neck and he's also blindfolded so he can't see and uh, the guy has to like tell him which way to walk over these these floorboards to get to him and then he can he can get him free and the best part is they get through all of it and they're on a timer and he gets the key and he's like all right now I'm gonna throw you the key and this guy can't see so it's not on him exactly but he throws him the key it bounces off his chest and then he's like well I'm dead. So not this shouldn't go as low as the other Saw 3D traps, I don't think. This might go, where did I even put them, man? There's, there are so many, there are so many Saw traps. 
Yeah, we'll put it low C. Uh, let's put it in D. The Chain Hangers, it is called, which is not what I would have called it. This one's from Jigsaw, and it, it features the needles, the, the four or so needles that one of them has an antidote in it, and then the others are like just horrendous concoctions of acid. <laughs> which needle was the right one, but it turned then one of them just like Wolverines, all of them into this lady and she like explodes in a comedic manner. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm explaining it, I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of it. Let's put this one in low B tier. It also features Billy with his glowing eyes that comes out on, the, on his tricycle. And the guy does like a Marvel quip. No, it's not creepy at all. Now I'm saying that, then I'm, I'm, I'm less of a fan of it, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it where it is. We have one more trap, and then we're into the Saw X new traps. Last one from Jigsaw is the Cycle Trap. Apparently this is one of uh, Jigsaw's first ever traps. It has a, a gigantic spiral blade going up like this, and a guy hanging down. He has to get all the way down to the, the bottom and pull out like a... A motorbike brake that'll stop the blade going out. And the funniest thing about this one is the reason he's in it is he sold a motorbike to Jigsaw's nephew that was faulty and then um, Jigsaw's nephew died because the bike was faulty. I don't know how Jigsaw finds all these people. <laughs> how did he know about that? I still think this is a really cool trap. This is probably one of the best ones from Jigsaw. So we'll put it in high B or mid B. All right, Saw X, the newest and what people consider to be the best Saw movie ever made. I would disagree with that. I think it's really good. Starting off with the X-Ray. I had to add these ones myself. These weren't, weren't in there, so I named them <laughs> things that, the trap, that I just named them what I would call the trap. So this one's the X-Ray Hand Smasher. This features a young lady chained up by the one arm and one leg hanging in the sky and she has this x-ray machine just blasting her with the with the radiation she's got like a metal bar or something she has to break one of her, her hand she has to break her hand so she can free from the chain and then she breaks her leg so she gets free from that chain she does it and then she ends up dying anyway which is going to be a very common theme um between all these sorex traps but probably the easiest to watch. The Saw X Trap, they went all out with this shit, man. I did that, it was insane. Let's put this one in higher C. I like the idea that Jigsaw had to use what was just in this sh like shunky hospital. So he just like, he's like, I'm gonna blast this bitch with an X-ray cannon. This is the pipe bomb arm trap. This is one of the first ones we see. It features a man who has pipe bombs like just wired to his arms and he's his hand his hands are like covered in duct tape with like knives coming out of them and he has to cut his arm flesh off to get the pipe bombs off before they explode he makes it he gets out he does it he, the, he gets the bombs off and jigsaw's like hey good job here's a first aid kit and then i don't think we never see him again. Uh, I like it a lot. That's gonna go high end B, high end B tier. That's like a classic jigsaw. Hey, I, here's some bombs. So what can I do with these? It'll freak people out. I like that one. That's a really good one. I'm seeing the flaw in spending hours talking about saw traps. Hey guys, use a question time. What saw trap would you like to be in? <laughs> hey guys, use a question. What are your top five favorite saw traps? That one, that one's a, that's a lot better of a question. Let's go with that one. This is a, like an instant classic. This is the eye vacuum. Features the, the it's probably in the thumbnail as well. Um, the tubes going over the man's eyes and it's a vacuum. So, I mean, you can put that together. Um, and he has to, his, all his fingers are like tied up in a in a trap and he just has to turn this dial and snap each one of his fingers back and much like the bedroom trap before from saw 4 with the, the eyes he just does one at a time very slowly 
he just snaps one finger back and then he he's like ah that that really sucked man just crank that dial all the way to the end snap all your fingers back you're free um but of course he gets through like four fingers and then his eyeballs get sucked out and they go all up the tube and then into the the vacuum but the end the only problem with this sword trap is that it's all in jigsaw's head it is not a real trap so that is the reason i won't put it into god tier but i still think it is like an it is like a a modern day instant classic sword trap just super simple it's on the poster it makes the x with the tubes we love to see it <laughs> we love to see it. it's a shame that it's not real you guys ever stayed up until 1 a.m talking about saw traps to yourself try giving it a shot son. this one this is the the most disturbing swacked up trap in Sorex easily. She is given a wire, a razor sharp wire, and she has to saw through her own leg. Um, sounds pretty bad already. So she has to do that, which she does. She saws off her own leg. And then she has to use this weird little bone marrow extraction tool. She has to shove that into the bone of her leg and it extracts bone marrow into the machine, which if she does, she gets enough of that bone marrow out, the machine will set her, set her free. The, the main, one of the main problems I have with Sorex is she does that. She extracts the bone marrow, but because the machine is so slow, she runs out of time and dies. That happens on multiple occasions throughout all these Sorex traps. So she does it, she goes through hell. And Jigsaw's like, nah, you weren't, you know what, you weren't fast enough. My machine's kind of laggy. Bad luck. I really like it. <laughs> I'm putting it in A tier because it'll just man that is like one of the one of the earliest traps with this new game and it is whew, it sets it sets the mood for the whole movie that's for sure. The next one is blood boarding. This is another problem that I have with Saw X. So uh, naturally water boarding. This is blood boarding instead of water it's blood. The only problem is Jigsaw set it up so it's a it's a like it's very convoluted but um Jigsaw ends up in the blood boarding trap and it was I'm guessing it was supposed to be Amanda on the other side and they were just supposed to take turns taking this blood boarding while his scheme worked out in the background but this this kid like stumbles in and he's like no 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 wait 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 and so the kid and Jigsaw end up in this blood boarding it seems, seems so risky when he had everything under control but yeah this one's going in like D I, it's just doesn't really make sense. I don't see the point of it. I don't know why they had to do it. Yeah, no, nah, not a fan of the blood boy. Probably the weakest trap in one of the weakest traps in Saw X for sure. All right, next up, this one. I don't know if I how well I can rank this one. This is the stomach chlora post credit scene. Um, back in the bathroom has Hoffman, good nice little Hoffman cameo. You don't see it go off. It's like a little machine on this guy's stomach that's like doing this at his stomach. And it like, is, it zooms in at the end of the movie and then it cuts to black. So it's just going in Hoffman, you freak, because Hoffman was in the scene. And then we didn't see it go off and we are not really sure what it does. And not, a, not the best trap, not the best trap. Next up, Brain Surgeon. Another fantastic trap from Sorex. So basically he has to do brain surgery on himself. He has to cut open his skull, which would be probably the worst part of this trap. And then he has to get a little bit of his brain tissue out and put it onto the machine. And then he's set free. That's all you gotta do, dude. He does it and guess what? He puts it on the machine and the machine's like loading. It has to break down the bone, uh, the brain tissue and then he dies, the mask comes in and it burns his face alive. So again, fault on Jigsaw's machinery there. It takes too long for the machine to like realize what's happening. Apart from that, a, a brutal trap, just an absolute brutal trap. I'm gonna put it just below the bone marrow in A tier. And then finally, the final trap. Of all the Saw movies, I don't know if there's any missing. I don't think there. there's, there's so many. Um, this is the gas room from Saw X. She thinks she got the upper hand of Jigsaw. She goes to get her money with her husband or boyfriend or whatever. 
door locks. Guess what, bitch? Jigsaw had the whole thing planned. He wanted to get blood boarded because he's a freak. The room starts filling with this gas that is eating away at their skin, but then it doesn't work if they put their head through this hole out of the room. So I'm not sure if it's flesh eating or if it's like going into the they can't breathe it in. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to watch this movie again. I've only seen it once. But yeah, like one of basically one of them can put their head in the in the hole and breathe freely, while the other one will die in the room of of poisonous gas. She wins and she's just left in the in the room with her head in the hole. I think she might still be there to this day, but not the strongest. So I'm gonna put that high air. I'm gonna put that low C tier. I don't know, she's she's just, she's still in the room. Her head's in the hole. Like what's the, what was the point of that one, Jigsaw? You you had them all locked up. Why did you have to put yourself into the, in, the, in a risk of bloodboarding? Anyway, that is every saw trap ranked Hope you got some sick entertainment out of um, this video. I love the Saw franchise. I will always see every single new Saw movie in cinema as soon as it was released. I just find them very interesting, even though I can recognize that most of them are pretty bad. Still always entertaining. Let me know your favorite Saw traps down below. I have to get back to editing this, as well as Fear and Hunger, for the final finale of Shocktober. Shocktober might go one week into November. Just by the way, that includes merch as well. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, what the hell was wrong with you, man?